Very good evening, thank you for joining us here watching news from Bahrain Television. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued today a royal decree number 9 of 2016 regarding restructuring the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism. His Majesty the King also issued decree number 10 2016 regarding restructuring the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Rafa Palace today the Philippines President, Special Envoy to the Gulf and the Middle East region, Dr. Amabila Gueles, who is currently on a visit to the Kingdom. His Royal Highness commended the Bahraini-Filipino relations and joint coordination and understanding in regards to regional and international issues. The Prime Minister stressed Bahrain's appreciation to the efforts of the Filipino community in supporting the development process of the Kingdom, highlighting the experience and efficiency of the Filipino community members. He pointed out the government's keenness to encourage foreign investments taking part in the developmental process of the kingdom through providing necessary facilities to investors, including investing in education. He said investment in education fields comes in line with the government's strategy to develop the human element and build on Bahrain's achievements in this field. The Prime Minister asked the Filipino official to convey his greetings to the Philippines President and his wishes for him of continued health and happiness and to the people of Philippines for their progress and prosperity. For his part, Dr. Aguiles conveyed to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister the greetings of the Philippines President Benigno Aquino III and his wishes for His Royal Highness of continued health and happiness and to the Kingdom of Bahrain of further progress and prosperity. The Filipino official commended His Royal Highness's role in reinforcing joint cooperation between the two countries and affirmed his country's keenness to develop bilateral relations to meet the aspirations of the two countries and people. The Health Ministry said that it had been in constant contact with the World Health Organization, the WHO, to learn about the latest updates and guidance on the Zika virus disease, stressing it has developed an early detection plan of the disease at border exits. Health Ministry explained that the Zika virus is a disease that spread to people through mosquito bites, a type of mosquito that is found in South American countries, but the WHO reports have recorded few cases spread by sexual and blood contact. The most common symptoms of Zika are fever, rash and conjunctivitis eyes, which are red eyes. The symptoms in most cases are categorized as simple, in a few cases are medium. The disease control is determined by the elimination of the mosquito breeding places. The ministry stated that no cases of the disease have been reported in the Kingdom of Bahrain nor in neighboring countries. It asserted the non-existence of the type of mosquito that spread the virus in Bahrain nor in GCC countries. And now here's Mohammed with the latest business news. Thank you, Sarah. watching the business news on Bahrain Television. Industry, Commerce and Tourism Affairs Under Secretary Assam Al Arayab opened today the Innovation for Industry Forum on the sideline of the Gulf Industry Fair 2016. He said that this forum is to showcase Bahrain as an incubator for industrial excellence and innovation through the use of technology in products and services. The forum discussed best practices of innovative companies in various sectors through a number of case studies. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,168.80 points, a decrease of 6.68 below last closing. The fall was in the services sector, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 61% of total shares. 31 transactions included a volume of 414,758 shares, worth 62,388 Bahraini dinars.